Casting your own metal moulding box sides. Part 3. Trial Casting. Well, we've got our trial mould ready. Uh, I'm going to use a little small crucible. It's uh, actually, I think, about an A8, but I, I don't want anything big like I normally would use for this. We're not going to need a lot of metal either. Uh, that might just about do it. We'll start off with that much and see whether we need any more. Now, <laughs> drop that crucible in the furnace and we'll get underway. I've actually pre-warmed that crucible because it hasn't been used for years. It might have picked up a bit of moisture, so I've just had it in the oven warming up. Pop her in, she's a bit small for this furnace, but there we go, we'll be right. <laughs> now, get some blower. Some matches. And with a bit of luck, we'll have some fire in the hole shortly. Give that a quick, quick little rabble into the surface. Just gently nudge it into the top of the metal to clean it off. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. That'll probably do. And get the worst of it off while it's in the furnace. I don't want it to cool down too much. So I'm going to do it while it's in there. I, I want this lot pretty hot because I don't know how this casting's going to pour and uh, I'll tell by the result I get uh, what would be a more appropriate temperature than the, the one I'm actually going to use. Now I'll just move the camera a little bit first, pull it out. Put it in the shank, which doesn't really fit all that well. It's a shank for an A6 and this is an A8, but we'll be right. <coughs> I hope. First thing I always do when I get to this stage, just go around the top of the crucible with a wire brush. Because you get loose bits of stuff sitting on there and I don't want those falling into the, the mould. We'll just see how hot we are for reference for next time. What do we got? 700, 750, 760. That's about seven, well, it's close enough to 800. Very hot for aluminium. But as I say, I don't know what's going on here. We'll find out. Ah. 
and away we go. Oh, it only just fits that crucible. Seem to take a fair bit of metal, so hopefully it'll be right. A little bit of exothermic on that one, on the feeder. And we pour a couple of ingots. Everyone seems to like pouring ingots, don't ask me why, but <laughs> they do. Oops. Ha. Oops. Hockey docky. Done and dusted. Right, we're solid enough. Let's break her out. I'll just break it on the bench. I've only got the one. So it'll be right. Come on, out you come, darling. Now, did we get it all or not? Looks like we might have. Well, certainly have steam in the glasses. Yep. There we go. I'll get that into the water, cool it off, and uh, bring it back. Well. Not exactly the prettiest casting I've ever done, but it is a, a 3D print straight off the printer. Uh, I'm not too unhappy with that considering. A little bit of flash down one edge there. Maybe a bit down that edge too, and a little bit on the ends there. We'll attend to those problems, I think, uh, next time. And we've uh, obviously the sand's broken away in there and a little bit in there we'll have to attend to that next time too but uh, see what caused that it's probably a little rough in there or a little edge or something but the lugs uh, they seem to have come out quite nicely and they've seemed to have fed which I was a bit worried about but um, the junction of them with the plate may have been a hot spot but no it looks good that gives us something to work on and improve for the next one. This certainly is not the prettiest casting that I ever made and to be honest I made a bit of a hash of it. However the exercise has served its purpose in that we did get a part and the need for several improvements became obvious. These have already been incorporated into the SDL and the PDF drawing files and these are, have already been sent via WeTransfer to those who requested them. If you had not done so but would like a copy of these, please contact me on the email address in the description. Alternatively, you can also go to the download address listed in the description. In the next video in this series, when I cast the sides needed to make some boxes, these improvements will be seen. I hope to get these castings done fairly soon, but the current lockdown conditions is making this a little bit difficult. Happy pattern making and thank you for watching.